hear daily lectures on security given by Major Scott, your Scotch-born intelligence officer. Let's stop kidding ourselves. This flying field is only 20 minutes from the battlefront. The dumb spies have all been shot. The smart ones are still living. And you may run into one of them tonight at the Red Lion pub. And if you go to the pub, Remember, one pound is not one dollar, but four dollars. And that equals 20 shillings. One shilling equals 12 pennies, which equals 20 cents. One English penny equals two American pennies. And don't throw your pennies around. Uh, Major, seems to me the paper in this pound is not very durable. What do you mean durable? I've had this one for 20 years. <laughs> what is it, Fred? What is it? One of those bitter lessons you learn in training. Flying close formation in rough air at low altitude is no good, gentlemen. Save that for high altitude when you're headed for the target. Next morning, we crawl out of the sack to find Britishers on the field again. Big Halifax bombers that had blasted Berlin during the night. Their own field was closed in by weather, so they dropped in on us for breakfast. Say, uh, Percy, how's the ak ak over there? Rough? Oh, not half bad, ye. Well, chitty old lads. Thanks for the ham and eggs. So long, Percy, old boy. We'll be finding out for ourselves one of these days. That day arrives. The order comes over the teletype. The communications clerk carries it to Colonel Milton, operations officer. To Colonel Burns, deputy commander. The old man is on the phone. Then in the briefing room. I'm summarizing. Remember your route in to this DR point where you go northeast to avoid this black area. P-47. We'll escort you to about this point on the way in, and Spit 9 will meet you about here on the way out and escort you all the way home. And now the weather officer. Weather's plenty important. You'll probably have to go over and above the altitude that you're scheduled to fly, 23,000 feet. From the IP to the target, the winds will be very strong tailwinds, and your ground speed should be well above 200 and 50, 260 miles an hour. The visibility is good everywhere east of that cold front, and the temperature at the target should be comparatively warm, minus 25 degrees centigrade. Today is your baptism of fire. If Lieutenant Argerop... Today is your baptism of fire. If Lieutenant Argeropoulos ever felt responsibility, he feels it now. In the armament shop, his crew is picking up their guns. Now remember, fellas, don't let them get too close trying for a sure kill. Your main job is to bring these airplanes back. You got plenty of ammunition. Keep them out there at long range. Oh, we know. They've given you an easy hop. Only three and a half hours in and out. What they call a milk run. You'll remember this first mission. You don't admit it now. You wouldn't show it for the world. But later you find out everybody else felt the same way you did. Flash order from Wing headquarters. Wing wants three more ships added to the high group. Three more bomb bays have to be loaded. Got to step on it. Positions in the formation chain. doesn't concern Sergeants Kenny and Phil Hulls. Gunners think only of smooth working guns and plenty of ammunition. Ammunition's cheap. 
take six cents worth of 50 caliber wanged into the cockpit of a Messerschmitt. That's what will bring you home. What did that weatherman say? 30 below over the target? Electrically heated suits. The air corps dresses for every occasion. Yes, everything has to be right, brother. Check everything. Every strap tight. Every buckle set. Everything understood. You get into your flak suit. Mighty heavy material, but it wears well, the man says. A thermos of hot coffee. The uh, joker who brings it says it'll help keep you awake. Hard straps on his throat mic. Over this intercom system, he'll be able to talk to every man in the ship. And they can talk to him. They'll be talking for keeps today. Well, that clear from the tower ought to be along any minute now. There it is. Start engines. The colonel's already been on missions. The seasoned outfits. Today, he leads you on your first. sits down to wait. Go ahead, Mike. Your deal. Come on, I cut. Oh. Okay. What time are they due back? Do you know? Scotty said around 5.20. Gosh. I sure hope they all... Hey, how many are you dealing? I'm in. Oh, sorry. We know, Mike. Everybody's sweating them out. Sweating them out. You mean what's coming over those trees, Major? No, that's not them. Just a flock of crows. All right, the ambulances. I gotta be casual. You know, carefree and easy, like the dock. Listen, wise guys, talk to us. The ground crew for each ship. We'll tell you how to feel. <laughs> 